another retro remix. I'm doing a one-year special on DuckTales, the 2017 animated series. A lot's been going on since my DuckTales video review a year ago, namely season one is still going on. Also, DuckTales has gone from Disney XD to Disney Channel proper, so I'm guessing Disney's feeling a little more confident about the new series. And they have every reason to because it's a great series. I've genuinely enjoyed the entirety of season one. As many breaks and network changes as they make, it's funny, the adventures are great, the callbacks and the references are awesome, and they've even done a number of references to the Disney afternoon. They've done everything from gummy bears to Darkwing Duck to Tailspin. Still waiting for you, Rescue Rangers, but I figure it's only a matter of time at this stage. Season 1 is still going on as shown by Comic-Con this year. They're showing a lot of new character redesigns, character introductions, concepts for characters. They've got a ton of callbacks and cameos, and it's surprising how well they've done all the characters that they've reintroduced. Strange but true, one of my favorite new characters is Flintheart Glomgold. He is the most lovable jerk I have ever seen. Some of the stuff that he says and does is just beyond bizarre, but they've done that with a number of characters. Launchpad is even more surreal if that's possible. And bringing back Doofus from the original series, they genuinely made him creepy. It's kind of an uneasy creepy, but it's also really funny considering how stereotypical nerd he was in the first series, but now he's just... Eesh. Anyway, DuckTales is great. I'm still loving it. One of these days we'll get to season two. I have no idea how long season one's going to continue. It could be another year or two at this rate, but I'm enjoying every minute and every episode whenever they decide to put one out. I hope this series goes on for a long time because it's definitely, as far as reboots go, I'm genuinely enjoying the new theme and tone that they're taking with this. They're getting back to the adventure. I certainly could go for some more Scrooge, but hey... We have DuckTales back. What more do you want? And let's just get started. Let's talk turkey, or in this case, duck. DuckTales, this new version, is a full-on reboot. This is not a continuation of the, either the comics or the 1987 animated series. For those who know me, I'm usually not a big fan of reboots. They usually try to reinvent the wheel and put their own personal spin on it without really grasping what makes the... the property that they're trying to redo so special and a lot of, that's why I think a lot of reboots fail uh, they just don't get it this one is done right I, I have to full out say I really liked this one uh, again because it didn't try to reinvent the wheel uh, it pulls heavily from everything Scrooge McDuck and I was honestly surprised about that it pulls directly from comic book elements from Uncle Scrooge it pulls very heavily from the original uh, Disney afternoon show and uh, surprisingly, speaking of which, it pulls heavily from Disney Afternoon in general. I was kind of shocked by that. You know, I don't want to do too many spoilers, and I don't know what all this is going to mean. It could be throwaway lines. It could be establishing an incontinuity of this new world because everything is world-building, interconnected, everything these days. But if the names of Spoonerville or St. Canard or Cape Suzette mean anything to you, they drop those, and I was like, wow, I wonder what that means. If anything, but it's still cool. So the new DuckTales series, like I said, is really pulling from everything. And for me as a fan, that's really awesome because they don't beat you over the head with it. Uh, what they do actually uh, show, if you look in the background, there's a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, references from the life and times of Scrooge McDuck, a lot of stuff from the comics. There's a lot of things from the cartoon series itself. I mean, there's a shout out to the pilot episode. I pretty strongly believe that there is a magic lamp from Treasure of the Lost Lamp in there. So they, they definitely went hardcore on that, and I was super impressed by that. But it's one of those things that's blink or you'll miss it. And from what I've heard, and I won't spoil this, but they look to be pulling from other duck resources as the series progresses. And like when I read some of that, that was, again, just super cool how in-depth they're going into the Scrooge mythos about that. So let's talk about the new series. I don't want to talk so much about the plot episode because if you want to see uh, the new DuckTales pilot, it's going on 24 hours a day today. It's going on at the time of the filming of this video, and it'll be going on well tonight. So if you really want to see it, I'm sure there's a source you can find it. 
Also, you can download the Disney XD app and you can find it there. So if you don't have the channel on cable, uh, you can at least find it somewhere. I'm, I'm sure it'll make its way to you pretty soon. Basically, it starts out, it's a very different dynamic because for those who remember the original DuckTales from the 80s, they changed up a lot of elements from like the Carl Barks stories where Donald and Scrooge and the boys would go off and have these adventures. When DuckTales debut, for whatever reason, perhaps because Donald was such a popular character, they removed Donald from the original series and they had him join the Navy and leave the triplets off in Scrooge's care. And kind of as a surrogate replacement, they had Launchpad McQuack. In this series, Launchpad is there. Donald's been restored as Scrooge's sidekick partner. An adventure and that to me is really really cool because I think it adds a lot of that dynamic and that in itself is really interesting because it's almost set in its own way after the comic series because where they did have all these great adventures and everything's heavily referenced Scrooge and Donald are very estranged at the start of this they're they're not on the best terms with each other and of course one of the central themes of DuckTales is family so of course things soften and Donald becomes a uh, regular part of the cast again that said they also pull heavily from DuckTales because Launchpad's still there Launchpad is still just hey I'm happy to be there man He's still happy-go-lucky, he's still easy-going, he's still willing and ready to be part of any of these adventures, and he still crashes airplanes like nobody's business. He's still a terrible pilot gifted with this ability to just survive anything he wrecks. Some of the biggest changes I saw in characterization, Mrs. Beakley, or as she's simply known here as Beakley, I'm not sure of her role because she's definitely not the secretary in this. Uh, originally, she was the nanny in the original DuckTales series, and she's definitely not a uh, secretary in this because she's very quick to let anyone know she is not that. I don't know if she's like an assistant. She could be a bodyguard. They don't really get into her backstory, so I'm kind of curious as to what her deal is because it's clear that she's been working with Scrooge for some time before the events of this. Uh, Webby is very different. She's not the naive, innocent, very young little girl like she was in the original series. Her characterization now is what I would imagine she would be if uh, she had a couple years of adventures with Scrooge under her belt and as a result of those changes would be. She's still very excited. She's obsessed with the Duck family and all their history and adventures. She definitely knows more about Scrooge than, than the nephews do. And she's gung-ho, but she hasn't had a lot of experience you know, out and out in the field. Uh, well, actually, she hasn't had any. So she's still new and fresh. She's just eager to get out there and go have these great adventures that she's heard so much about. The triplets are also different. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are no longer differentiated by just like having a red shirt or a green one or a blue one. You know, in the original series and up to date, they've always been almost the same character because their personality is pretty much the same. They basically finish each other's sentences or speak in unison. Now they're very different. Huey seems just very excited to be a part of this. Uh, he's very much a planner. He still you know, heavily references the Junior Woodchuck guidebook. Dewey is, I, I think they're trying to make him kind of the breakout character because he's super active. He's super down for these adventures. You know, he, he wants to be Scrooge McDuck's sidekick and he's very vocal about this. Louis a little bit more laid back. I uh, don't know if he's so much of a slacker, but he's very laid back, very subdued. He's jokingly referred to as the evil triplet. So whatever that means, he might be the most mischievous of the three. We'll find out, I'm sure. And of course, there's Scrooge McDuck himself, which is voiced by Doctor Who's David Tennant, the 10th Doctor. It was very interesting to hear his voice do it because he sounds very much like David Tennant in the previews, and that's all I could think of. And then... It, it feels more Scrooge actually seeing the whole story play out. Um, Alan Young did Scrooge McDuck from Mickey's Christmas Carol in the early 80s up until actually not too terribly long ago. He did reprise Scrooge for the DuckTales Remastered video game, and he even did some of the Mickey Mouse shorts, which if you haven't seen those, definitely check those out. Those are super funny, lots of pop culture references to all things Disney and that, and that's super cool. But I like the new take on Scrooge. I haven't really seen a full establishment of the personality because Scrooge, certainly in comics and certainly in the original series, he lived up to his name in the sense that he was not very charitable. He did look down on people, less 
fortunate than he was. I, I believe, you know, the nephews and Donald getting his family reestablished in those series helped to soften Scrooge again over the years. But um, again, you know, life and times of Scrooge McDuck, he started out young and optimistic and all his life experiences made him very hard and bitter. And it was up to, again, Donald and the family to help him get back into life again. So I don't know how he's going to be, but the depiction I saw in this opening movie was great. I, I really liked him and, and the Scottish brogue, just perfect Scrooge McDuck. Of course, Flint Hart Glumgold is in this as well. Uh, you know, they, they'll have all the established enemies. They'll have Flint Hart Glumgold. They'll have Mob Beagle and the Beagle Boys. They'll probably have more established as we go on throughout the series. Uh, one of the things that really, uh, there were two things that really stuck out to me. It's funny. The show is very funny. It's very witty. It's very fast paced. The writing just seemed fun. Everybody involved seemed like they were just having a great time with this. And I thought that was super cool. I, I laughed a lot more than I expected. I expected like, oh, this will be fun. I'm going to have a great time with this. But I actually laughed. That's some generally good humor in this. Uh, the other thing that really impressed me is the art style. And I know a lot of people are still kind of, ah, I don't know. It's like it's so different from the original. They do tiny little nods to the original series. But it is very much its own thing. And it seems more heavily referenced to the comic style. A lot of, you know, Donald is wearing an all-black uniform. Like, and that was the way it was in the comics and Scrooge's outfit was red and black as opposed to the blue and red like it was in, in DuckTales the cartoon. So they're, they're definitely harking back and it, there's even like certain areas of like walls and scenery and things where it has kind of like a pointillism style like the old four uh, color comics. Again they're, they're heavily referencing back to that and the new art style actually really grows on me and it's yeah, I think it's gonna be something I'm really going to enjoy. It's slightly different but that's not a bad thing. And I'm just really curious as to see what they're planning to do with that. I think the only downside I had with it is just I feel like I've seen a lot of this episode already. They've done a lot of trailers building up to this. They did a Comic-Con segment. They did a lot of trailers, you know, meet the new version of all these characters. And they have showed a lot. I feel like I saw 30% of this this uh, episode. And that might be too high of a number. But it, in many cases, it was like, oh, okay, I've seen this whole segment. And it goes on. And it fits well within continuity. And I, I, you know, certainly I didn't mind it in that context. But I do feel like I've seen a lot of it. The ending, I won't spoil. Of course, they do a really surprising what could be that one stinger at the very end. And again, for Duck fans, this is... If, if you follow the Donald Duck, Uncle Scrooge comics, that was actually a surprisingly big reveal. That's like the first time they've ever ventured into this territory. So I'll be curious to see what they'll do. It will probably be more of an overarching story as opposed to where the standard original Duck's Tales episodes were more of a one-off. You didn't really have a continuity. It was just kind of like a one-off and nothing was ever really referenced again unless they kind of did a pseudo sequel to it or something. But yeah, this looks like it's going to have an overall story. So again, with the plot element they dropped at the end, you know, I'm curious to see where they'll take it. And then they're talking about a pretty surprising cameo guest appearance that's going to happen sometime within the course of the series. And again, the way they name drop some things throughout this episode, I'm like, okay, are they going to establish their new in-universe? Is this going to be like another thing like the Marvel Cinematic Universe where everything's interconnected? Because that cameo is going to be cool. I'm definitely wanting to see their interpretation of it. But that's basically everything about DuckTales. Did I like it? Absolutely. I, I expected I would unless they just royally screwed it up and... I expected that they'd have to work really hard to mess this one up, but they did a great job. I had a lot of fun with it, and if you like the old show, or if you read any of the comics, or even if you just kind of want a fun adventure show that's pretty witty and has some clever ideas about, you know, the Indiana Jones of the duck world, it's definitely worth your time, definitely worth a watch. And as I said, Disney XD is running it all day uh, at the time of the video, and that's today. So... You get a chance to see it. It'll be out there for a couple more hours, and I'm sure it'll manifest in all other sorts of places. But definitely do yourself a favor. Take time out today and go check it out. And, yeah, it was just great. I had a lot of fun with this, so I definitely recommend it.